Today's vehicle is a 2006 Honda Odyssey, and as you can imagine with this being a minivan, the inside of this thing is a complete mess. All right, so you guys can see I've got my work cut out for me on this one. Let's get started. Okay, so as I get started on the van here, the very first thing to do is remove these second row seats. And the nice thing about vans is how easy and quick I can get them out of here. Then I'll get the ridiculous amount of floor mats out as well and put those off to the side too. So as I start to vacuum here, I already know I'm going to be cleaning the carpets later, but as I vacuum, I'm also getting a good sense of just how dirty things are in here and where all the grime is. So I'm already planning out in my head exactly how I'm going to attack each area, and I can see numerous areas already where I'm going to be busting out the steamer for. So as I moved throughout the vehicle today, I was definitely amazed at all the storage compartments this van had. And believe it or not, but this was the first van I've had in before, uh, as I typically see a ton of trucks and SUVs. So it's kind of nice to see something that wasn't a Silverado, but at the same time, these vehicles are so much more work than they appear from the outside. So I'm using the carpet brush here to try to lift up any remaining dirt from the carpets before I get started with the extractor. And then I'll just quickly go over it all with the vacuum again. All right, so with the vacuuming done, I can start steaming up this van and getting the grime out of those seat anchor points. So after loosening things up with the steamer, I'll agitate with a detail brush and then wipe things clean with a dry microfiber towel. And now since these are just secured by a couple of screws, I figured I may as well take the covers off to make things a bit easier on myself. And I'm definitely glad that I did because there was a fair bit of crud hiding underneath that I would have otherwise missed. So the steamer that I'm using is a McCulloch MC1375, and not only is it super fun to use, it's such a versatile tool as it comes with lots of different attachments, so you can use it all over the vehicle or even inside the house too, as it comes with mop attachments as well. It's such a solid little machine that I would highly recommend you guys check it out. They aren't super expensive, so feel free to have a look. The link is in the description below. Moving to the rear floor vent area, and after removing the cover, I found a whole bunch of dirt that I needed to vacuum up before I could get this area all cleaned up with the steamer. All right, so finally moving on to these dirty, dirty carpets. And I decided to start down in the trunk area here so that it had time to fully dry out before I folded the third row seats back down into there. So getting some carpet solution sprayed on here and then agitated with the drill brush to help lift and suspend whatever dirt or grime is down in those fibers. And as I start making the first few passes here, you can definitely see those stains are starting to come out. And now because this was one of the larger and more prominent stains in the vehicle and it won't just be covered up with a floor mat, I wanted to get it looking as good as I possibly could. Even though after talking to the owner beforehand, he said he bought the van like this. So these stains are unidentified and they've been here for a really long time. So I'm not expecting perfection, but I'll do everything I can to get them looking presentable. 
So I still felt I could do a little bit better on the stain, so I went over it with the steamer and the brush attachment and did manage to pull a bit more of it out. So going over the area with that large yellowy spot, and I was pretty certain that this was a result of some bleach being spilled in here by the previous owners, and that definitely looks to be the case, so it's kind of unfortunate that I couldn't do anything for that spot, but really sometimes there's only so much you can do if things are already damaged. Moving on to the stains under the second row driver's side seat and once I start with the draw brush you can see it's already turning a pretty nasty color which is good because it means the stain is probably able to be removed but working around a seat anchor point is a little bit challenging as there are tiny little flaps of carpet that the extractor can't quite reach to so fortunately I was able to get my finger underneath them and pull them up so I could get the extractor on them and get them nice and clean. And if you guys don't know, the extractor I'm using here is a Bissell Spot Clean Professional. And even though I probably mentioned this in every video, but that's because I love this thing so much. I am in no way sponsored by Bissell to give them such high praise. I just really think it's an awesome little machine. Quality that you get for the price is incredible and it really makes cleaning carpets really fun and easy. I've got the link to this and almost every other product and tool I use in the description below. So feel free to check those out. I would highly recommend giving this unit a look. All right, so moving to the pedals and after spraying on some four to one APC, I'm using the steamer with the brush attachment to quickly get these things clean. So definitely one of the dirtiest areas of the carpet was the driver's footrest. And you can see it's made the solution look like chocolate milk. So knowing how dirty it is, I'll make sure to make lots and lots of passes or keep spraying hot water down to ensure I can get as much of that dirt out of there as possible. So since I've got the second row seats out, it just makes sense to clean and condition the leather while these are outside of the vehicle. As I can see what I'm doing so much better, but it also it's just easier to work around them as I've got more room. Seats like this are where the horsehair brush comes in really handy as the seams were super dirty and full of gunk that didn't come out when I vacuumed. So the brush is able to get that all loosened and then I just wipe it all clean with a dry microfiber towel. If you guys happen to be like me and always find a way to drop your towels or applicator pads, just go grab a fresh one. You don't want to be rubbing any dirt. It may have picked up all over the vehicle. It's frustrating, I know, but it's the smart thing to do. Now with a couple of these floor mats having carpeted inserts, it was easiest to just pressure wash them as they were stuffed full of dirt and the pressure washer is able to blast that out in a fraction of the time compared to using the extractor on them. Moving on to the glass, and I'll spray some Meguiar's D120 glass cleaner onto the waffle weave towel first, and then wipe down the windows. And if you guys have trouble with streaks when you clean glass, definitely look into using a waffle weave towel because they won't leave streaks or lint behind. In my opinion, they're the secret to getting streak-free glass. Now provided, of course, you're using a quality glass cleaner along with it. Now, just before I get everything put back in here, I'll do a super quick final vacuum to get any of the dirt or debris that found its way into the vehicle because I was in and out of here so many times over the course of the day.
All right, guys, so you've all been waiting to see how nasty the water was from this van, and you're not going to be disappointed. I am curious, though, which one you guys thought was dirtier, so go ahead and comment either Home Depot or Rona down below.